What's up, Kyle Gang? Today we have this problem on our hands. It says you get a double integral here, and it tells you that r is the bound by the triangle with vertices 0, 0, 2, 1, and 1, 2, and it gives you these two transformations. So what you want to do when you ever get a double integral, triple integral, anything, you really just want to graph it out, right? Unless you have the vertices in there for you, which you don't really need to. That never happens. All right, so we have 0, 0. Boom, easy. Uh, 2, 1. There's 2, 1. And 1, 2. Boom. And you can see you. Triangle, it looks like this. Yeah. So uh, I don't really, I don't really want to like try to solve this integral. I don't know about you guys, but like it looks kind of ugly because you have to split it into like a couple things. You know, I'm actually looking at it. You probably could solve it the other way. Maybe I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna try to solve it the other way after this. But first, we're gonna do it the correct way with the U and V. So we need formulas for these lines. So what is this line? This one is y is equal to 2x, it looks like. This looks like y is equal to 1 half x. And this line, hmm, how's it gonna look? It's gonna look like y is equal to negative x plus three. So this gives you three lines, basically, that it's intercepted with. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna reparameterize them using u and v. So let's see, we have y is equal to 2x. This becomes, so y is u plus 2v is equal to uh, 2x, so it's gonna be 4u plus 2v. You'll notice that these two v's are gonna cancel out. Wait, hold on a second. What did I do wrong? Oh, never mind, this is right. Uh, this will go over, we'll subtract, so it'll be negative three, u is equal to zero. I guess just because u is equal to zero. That's a function right there. Just because you get a zero doesn't mean it's a bad thing, right? I, I panicked a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. So this is y is equal to 1 half x. Now let's do it here. So u plus 2v is equal to, uh, so u plus 1 half v. Uh, you'll notice that the u's are going to cancel out, the v's going to come over here, and what's going to happen again is v is going to be equal to 0. This is another function. Pretty useful. Uh, not in the clear life, okay. Uh, what's our final one? y is equal to negative x plus 3. What do we get? So y to u plus 2v is equal to negative 2u minus v plus 3. All right, uh, so it's going to become, uh, let's see, 3u uh, plus 3v is equal to 3. Uh, you'll notice that's basically, you can say v is equal to negative u plus 1. That's our final function right there. So we have three things, and I think these are going to bound in each other, as we can tell. So let's draw another graph. Right, so v is equal to zero. Actually, never mind. I do this every time. I did it in another video too. You can probably go find that one. This is u, and this is v. All right. So v is equal to zero. Easy enough to draw. This is just across this line. I don't want to get my markers all dirty. U is equal to zero. It's across this line. Boom, boom, boom. It's like that. And then v is equal to negative u plus one. It's going to look like that. So now we have a region. All right, let's compare these regions. Look at this one. This one, easy, simple, it's a triangle. This one, it's another triangle, but it's not easy. All right, so how are we gonna solve this? Well, we can do in direction of u or in direction of v. Let's see, I'm gonna do it in direction of v because I already have v is equal to everything. All right, uh, I don't have space. Let's see, I'll just write it down here and I'll erase everything. Uh, integral is equal to the double integral. All right, so we have to not forget about this part and we also have to not forget about our Jacobian. What's our Jacobian? I don't know. It's pretty cool though. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I'll show you how you can do it. So the Jacobian is the matrix, basically, of the derivative of x with respect to u, the derivative of respect to v, the derivative of y with respect to u, the derivative of y with respect to v. So first, derivative of x with respect to u is just going to be 2. The derivative of x with respect to v is 1. The derivative of y with respect to u is 1. The derivative of y with respect to v is 2. If we solve this, it's going to become 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So our Jacobian is 3. Boom. So that's going to go in at the end of this. All right, so x minus 3y. What is x equal to? x is equal to 2u plus v. So it's going to be 2u plus v uh, minus 3. And then y. What is y? u plus 2v. Boom. 
and then all of this is going to be multiplied by our Jacobian. And then we're going to solve this, dB du. We can do it either way, but I'm going to do dB. So v goes from 0 to uh, negative u plus 1. And then u goes from 0 to 1. And there you go. That's a double integral right there. We can, I'll simplify this for you guys, because I hate it too. And we need it simplified. And I'm going to solve it. So the 3 comes out. You can see this, right? Yeah, you can. Negative u plus 1. Alright, so let's see. 2u minus 3u, so it's going to be negative u. Uh, v plus, or v minus 6v is going to be negative 5v dv du. That's our integral. Boom. Alright, let's erase. Get rid of everything. This is a bigger problem than I remember it being, I'm not going to lie. I only have a little bit of time left in here. So let's do this. So the u can come out. Actually, no, it can't uh, because it's a, it's a number. So i is equal to 3, 0 to 1. All right, so this integral has become, so it's respect to v, so it's going to be negative uv minus 5 uh, v squared over 2 from, what is it? Oh, I got, I erased it a little bit. It goes from 0 to negative, negative u plus 1, right? Yep. And then d u. All right, so let's expand. Um, all right, I don't like this at all, but we're gonna have to solve it. It's gonna be negative u, uh, negative u plus one, minus five, and then this, uh, let's just put it over five halves. And then this is gonna become this squared, so it's gonna be u squared minus two u plus one, if I'm wrong, don't sue me. Okay, let's simplify this. Uh, I is equal to 3, integral 0 to 1. Uh, it's going to be u squared minus u minus uh, 5u squared over 2 minus, uh, so it's going to be plus actually, 5u minus 5 over 2 du. Simplify this, uh, it's going to become 4u. Sure. Hopefully I'm right. Uh, this simplifies to it's gonna be two over two, so negative three over two. I hope I'm right about that. Two u squared over two. Two minus five is negative three. Okay. Yep. I hope I'm right. We're gonna find out soon. Three. Zero to one. Actually, we can solve this. Let's just solve it. Okay, actually, you know what? I think this is looking pretty good. I think I'm right. So the three is going to come out to the bottom. It's going to cancel out. So it's going to be negative u, or negative u to the third over two plus four u, so it's going to be two u squared minus five halves u from zero to one. I think I did it, guys. I think I'm right. All right, three. So the one goes out negative one half plus two. I'm gonna write that as four halves minus five halves. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? Okay, I didn't mess up. <laughs> I is equal to three. If you simplify this, right, it's gonna become negative six over two plus four over two. What does this become? It's three minus two. Is equal to negative one, so it's going to be negative three. Negative three is our answer. I spent a long time thinking I did something wrong, and I did not. But yeah, negative three is our answer. Uh, how much time I got left? I have five minutes. I'm going to try to solve it the other way because I feel like I'm going to swag, and I feel like I could actually do that. All right, so negative three is our answer. This is how you do it the correct way. What if we did it the other way? All right, so what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna split a line up here. This is um, y is equal to one. And we're gonna integrate from, oh shoot, no, 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 we're gonna integrate from here to here. We're gonna integrate from 
here to here. All right, so this is gonna look like, okay, so we need this in terms of U, or no, in terms of X. So this line is gonna become X is equal to one half Y. This is going to be X is equal to negative Y plus three, right? Yep. And this line is gonna become Okay, um, do I need that? Yes, I do. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm right, I'm right. Okay, and this is gonna be x is equal to two y. All right, so our first integral, let's do the bottom one. So x goes from uh, one half y to two y, and then it's x minus three y. Um, dx dy, oh wait, I forgot our second integral. Um, x goes from x goes from zero to two, and then we have to do another integral. Um, here it goes from oh, what is that? This is one half, isn't it? It goes so x goes from one half to two. Um, let's see, y goes or x goes from one half y to negative, negative y plus three, and this is the same x minus three y dx dy. Okay, I have five minutes to solve this. Okay, this is equal to zero to two with respect to x, so it's gonna be, oh, that's gonna be ugly, I know it is. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna plug this into symbol lab, and if I get the right answer, I'll put it up on the video, and if I don't get the right answer, I'll uh, explain what I did wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this will give you negative three as well, which is kind of interesting. If you want to do it this way, uh, I don't know, go for it, I guess, but I think the homework wants you to do it the other way. So yeah, that's it. That's the problem. Good luck on your Calc homework, and then good luck.